Hello everyone, thanks for watching. I'm going to be showing you how to create this a beautiful folded uh, paper page. Uh, today we're going to be using some beautiful spring colors and uh, using the Tulip Border Punch. But this is versatile enough to be able to use with Christmas photos and Christmas colors as well as a beautiful winter scene. What you're going to need for this project is one uh, sheet of 12 by 12 paper to serve as a background and then uh, some patterned paper. And I actually recommend check your scraps bin because if you have some papers sitting in your scraps that are, you know, a four by four in size, then you'll be able to make this layout with just scraps. But otherwise, any beautiful uh, patterned paper will do. And today I'm using pa paper from the Simply Sunshine uh, paper pack that is just beautiful and uh, reminds me of the beautiful colors of spring that we're starting to see out these days. So again, I recommend using scraps wherever possible. So reach into your bin and find something that you really like. And you're going to need eight four by four squares. Now you can have them all the same. You can have them uh, all different, or you can choose two patterns and alternate. The choice is yours. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. So once you have your four, or sorry, eight uh, four by four squares, and I've got some of mine I'll cut here, then you're going to fold them. And the way you do that is you just fold diagonally from quarter to corner and then you open it up and fold again from the bottom to that edge and again from the bottom to that edge. Now please don't take too much time to do this very precisely. It doesn't matter. I have some that I've already pre-folded and they have crooked corners, they have big gaps here that's okay, it doesn't matter uh, because that part is gonna be hidden and nobody's going to see that. So once you have your eight um, petals all folded, you're gonna put them, put them aside. And I have mine all fold, folded even though you didn't see them. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the center circle of our um, page. So, and that was um, this guy here. So we're gonna do now this center uh, doily with cute little tulips on it. So to do that, I need a six by six square. And so I'm just gonna measure my paper to go six. And, oh, that's already six, perfect. So a six by six square of the paper of your choice. And we're gonna be using this floral circle punch. So if you forget what size you need, it actually says six inches right on the top, which is fantastic because it's hard to remember details like this. And you just insert your paper till it's squared in the corner and punch, rotate 90 degrees, and punch and keep doing that all the way around your circle. Then you'll end up with this really funky looking half circle, half square thing. But the magic happens when you flip it over and now you've got your squares on the right side again and you're gonna to continue to punch. This time when you punch though, I want you to empty out these little squares as you go. Sometimes they just shift and then they get caught in of course the wrong place and we don't want that to happen. And once you're finished, you have a gorgeous, um, doily with these cute little flowers. I don't know if you can see that. I get maybe a different color. Cute little flowers between. It's just beautiful. 
So now that we have this, what I recommend is that you use a repositionable tape for this next step. And we can get that already taped and ready to go. And then just set this aside close by. So I'm just gonna move it down here. And then you're gonna align all of your papers in a circle. Um, and I have some actually that are already pre-stuck as well, so I might have a little trouble doing this next step. It turns out my last video didn't actually record when I thought it was recording, so I kind of disassembled my, my project and started again. But hey, that's showbiz, right? So here we go. Now you can decide if you want your patterns in a certain way, you can rearrange them, it's all good. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're using the repositional tape on here um, because it will allow you to fix any things that don't work. Turn this over, line it up in the center, and stick it down. Now, yeah, this didn't turn out so well. So now, whoops, that didn't turn out so well either. So we're just going to stick these down here and fix up my little gaps. Um, I mentioned that I had to take apart my project because the video didn't work. So you'll see I also have some adhesive on my paddle, on the flaps of the pedals. So once you get, let's turn this over, once you get this the way you like it, then you can add your adhesive to your flaps. Now you can also add adhesive to your um, tips of your petals if you want a more uh, flat look on your page. But if you like the um, three-dimensional look, then you can leave the glue off of that. Line it up. Oh, here's another one that didn't didn't go where it was supposed to. And press it down. Just like that. Next, we're gonna do our flower border along the bottom. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way. And the paper I'm gonna use for that is this beautiful yellow paper. And to create the tulip border, we're gonna use the tulip border punch. And if you haven't used a border punch before, you line up your paper inside with your first cut so that the paper meets the edge of the black line. And the black line just runs on the outside and the inside of your punch there. And create the first punch. Next, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slide along your paper so that the pattern design lines up and punch again. And you're gonna keep going all the way along until you complete your border. And get one more. One more. Just like that. And then I'm going to use my trimmer and just trim it nice and close so that I've got just a small border along the bottom. And I'm gonna use the repositional tape on this as well. And if you haven't used repositional tape, um, it, it oh, you, you've got to try it. You don't know what you're missing. Um, what I like about it is that, well, it's repositional. So I can run all the way along my design and the tiny little dots will skip the, the holes. And if you end up on, with any on your tape, table or paper project underneath, they just rub away, which is fantastic. So keep going with this. 
I actually prefer to use a little silicone mat for this because then it doesn't even go through onto my project. I have uh, these available in a nice uh, blue strip size. I just forgot to pull it out and this one was handy. And uh, this one was from my friend Ginny at Stamping Up. So if you have a Stamping Up wrap, you can find it from them. Otherwise, uh, you can get one from me with the purchase of a punch as well. So stick that down and there you go. Next up is to get a, a photo for the center. And what I did on my punch is I wrote myself a note that you can use the custom cutting system with the small circle, the green blade, and you'll get a circle that fits perfectly in the middle. And then you can add embellishments if you want to your project, stickers or any other embellishments that you enjoy and you're done. So I really want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos and like and subscribe my channel and my Facebook page. Share with your friends and have a great day.